Welcome to Cloudy Knit Crochet. My name is Lori and I would love to crochet up a storm with you. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My plan for Whip Wednesday is, I think I'm gonna start off with either sharing something in my craft room and talk about it or tell a story. So today I have something I would like to read to you. And it was written by my youngest daughter named Brittany. And she wrote this for me when I turned 50. She asked me, I think it was at Christmas time, I was like 50 years old, and she asked me, Mom, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, I want you to write me a poem because she's so talented writing poems. Even um, her professional job is, uh, she's a engineer. She does have a creative side to her too, besides working out math problems. So I've read some of her poems she's written when she was in high school. So let me read the poem that she uh, gave to me for Christmas. Okay, I got it right here. For my mommy, mother of three, grandmother of one, crocheting and sipping tea. She sure is a lot of fun. Her children know how to drive her crazy. Their methods and ways sure are clever. Because of her three, she never had time to be lazy. But now as they grow up, she wants them to stay forever. So true. At the age of 50, a little man was born. The grandmother, AKA Nana, gives him all her affection. He fills her with joy each and every morn. The two share a wonderful connection. While sitting on the couch crocheting and sipping her tea, she embodies the perfect grandmother. However, she dresses as if she were 20 and looks like no other. This woman is silly. This woman adores the little things. This woman finds the good in all. The woman is my mother. Though I may be a pest, you are the best. Love your greatest daughter. <laughs> when I read this the first time, oh my gosh, I could not stop crying. So here is what she wrote me. And I hang this up on my wall in my craft room. Now the next thing is since this is Whip Wednesday, I've been thinking about my whips that I have floating around in my room in all different places. And I came across two um, crochet alongs. Okay, so the first year I started watching um, the awesome YouTube channels on YouTube, that was back at the beginning of 2021. And then after seeing all the fun they were having, I had to do my own channel. And um, so I started that up in April of 2021. And then I heard all about crochet alongs. Never knew what a crochet along was and still until I got onto the uh, yarn community. So back in 2021, I signed up for four different crochet alongs. Two of them I finish, and I still have two that I need to finish. So I want to um, start working on these, um, but I need your help to, to help me to decide which one should I finish up first. So let me show you some pieces of them. Um, the first one is by Mowgli Crochet Along. And 
we were making different um, squares. Now I do have some of the squares already attached into rows. And I think I have most of the squares done except for one. So I have to make up one more square and then attach these squares to make my Afghan. Now, I love doing this project, but um, it was definitely a sampler um, crochet alongs. Um, and I was doing stitch work that I've never done before or even heard about. <laughs> Um, so I learned a lot doing this crochet along and, um, I've said this before in my, um, other episodes, I do like a challenge and one of these, um, squares that I was working on, I think I already attached it to the Afghan in the rows. Oh my gosh. I could not figure that thing out. I did it over and over. I read the pattern over and over again i slept on it thought about it and then about the fourth day i finally got that square done um i was not going to let that square beat me i was going to figure it out um so let me continue showing you the squares and i think i have one more here to show you so that is um, the Mowgli crochet along. And then the next crochet along, I am um, I have to do these rectangle strips. So you have rectangle and then diagonal strips. And then they get sewn onto, and it's sitting here behind me. So let me grab it. They get sewn onto a mandala circle. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Try and get this up. Okay, so here's the circle. And then over here, you're seeing how the rectangles and triagonals are getting sewn on. But I still have this much more to do. And then after I sew all the strips on, then I'm going to be crocheting some rounds around that. So I need your help because you guys are the ones that encourage me and um, to uh, crochet. Yeah, definitely crochet up a storm on a daily basis. And I don't think I'd be crocheting this much if it wasn't for you guys. So in the comments below, uh, if you would like me to do, to first finish the Mowgli crochet along, uh, write Mowgli, uh, M-O-O-G-L-Y, and then the mandala uh, crochet along that one was done um, designed by the cool crochet society so if you would like me to finish that one first write in just write in uh, cool crochet um, cool crochet society something like that so I will read all the comments below and see which crochet along has the most votes. And whichever one has the most votes, I will start working on that one for my next whip. So thank you. Thank you for helping me out to make a decision because I can't decide and I need that encouragement again from you guys so um so now let's talk about the crochet alongs that i'm working on for 2023 um i'm doing three of them uh one of them is the sophie's universe and i'll show you a picture of that and then the next one is the mystery at rosewood manor 
And that one is a really fun one too, because you're reading a mystery story. And as you're reading the story, it gives you choices like, are you gonna knock on the door or ring the doorbell? And then that'll lead you down a different path in the story. And then um, depending on where the story leads you at the end of that chapter, it'll tell you what pattern you're going to be crocheting on your project. So that one's really fun. And then the third one that I'm working on, and I just started it, was the Luck of the Draw uh, 7. And so hang on and I'll show you photos of those and talk a little more about those. Well, it looks like my kitty Chase is going to be hanging out with us while I show you uh, Sophie's Universe. I believe I just started Oh gosh, what row did I just start? 34? I think I'm um, towards the end of part four. Um, so anyway, um, I have this really nice wicker basket here and I think I purchased that at a craft fair a while back and it was the home of my husband's sweater that I just finished. And I'm like, okay, this basket's gonna work really good to store all my uh, yarn for my Sophie's Universe. So let me show you um, how far I've gotten, <laughs> as much as I could show you with my cat sitting right there. Um, I realized something with the Sophie's Universe. You definitely have to count your stitches. And at first, I was counting all the stitches at one time up to like 240 stitches. And then I'm off a stitch or two. And now I don't even know which side I made a mistake on. Then <laughs> I realized in the... Um, pattern it'll tell you how many stitches on each side when you reach um, the part where you're squaring off the Sophie's universe now when you were working on the mandala in a circle then yeah you have to count all those stitches um, but once you square it up the pattern will tell you how many stitches on each side so now what I do is after I do a side, I'm going to count that side to make sure. So if I make a mistake, I don't have to rip out everything. Well, I just learned that um, <laughs> when I was sitting down working on the last row because I found an extra stitch. Now, let me show it to you. See that stitch marker right there? That I put in an extra stitch right there. That stitch shouldn't be there. So I got a little lazy. I'm like, you know, I don't want to have to rip it all out again. So I'm just going to leave that stitch marker there. And then when I come back around, I'm not going to put a stitch there. And I think overall, it's not going to make that big a difference. Um, so we will see. So the, here's a little hint. If you don't want to do any ripping out, and if you don't mind that there's just a little bit of a, a boo-boo in there, but you could work around it, uh, here's an idea for you. Now, if that makes you feel nervous and you're like, no, I don't want to do that, then yeah, definitely go rip it out and don't put in that stitch. So I'm just going to try this out for this row and see what happens. Um, so wish me luck. So anyway, um, I do, I am really loving this project. It is just such a fun pattern to work on. So that is my update on my Sophie's Universe. 
Now let's check out Luck of the Draw number seven, and it's being hosted by Nan's Next Knots. And last week, if my memory serves me correctly, she drew number seven, but don't quote me on that. Definitely go check out uh, her channel to just verify what the number was that was drawn. Now, I'm making a basket. And I decided to do a basket with um, a really thick yarn because with I'm not used to doing so many crochet alongs at one time and trying to keep up with everything that I thought I'd do a project that wasn't another blanket to make it a little easier on me. Now, before I started this project, I didn't realize that you were going to be doubling up the yarn. So I'm taking two super bulky yarns and doubling it up. Um, so then I had to work with a bigger crochet hook. So I went ahead and went on Amazon and one of my favorite hooks are Clovers. And this one is one of their bigger hooks. This is a size in P, a 10 millimeter. And it's um, working up really nice um, with this super bulky yarn. So that is how far I got on my Luck of the Draw 7, which is my very first time participating. And I always look forward to Thursday just to see what the next color will be all right now let's talk about the mystery at rosewood manor crochet along today part four is going to be coming out so right here you see part one and part two we have to have like a a two-week gap um, from showing photos of it on social media so i'm really excited to get the next hint um in my email today um so i could read the story and find out what the next clue is to crochet up part four so i'm really having fun working on this project and i'm really glad that i decided to do this project only using one color again happy wednesday everyone and thank you for coming over and hanging out with me on my channel and checking out all the whips that i've been working on i appreciate each and every one of you and i am so glad that we are yarny friends and that we all get to crochet up a storm together bye for now until we meet again